All right, everyone, I am coming to you with some good news. I received the call from the GSA a little while ago stating that they are taking the rubber black man out of the GSA catalog, effective May 27th of this year. That's excellent news because it means that one of the demands from the petition have been met, just one of the demands. Um, this is a great opportunity to celebrate an excellent first step in the right direction on behalf of the GSA and the community and all of you who lifted your voice in support of the petition and support of this effort. I want to thank our sponsors from the African American Tobacco Control Leadership Council, the Center for Artistic Activism, the Oak Stop, and our newest organizational partner, the African American Gun Association, for their support of this effort. Effort. All of that being said, and in the midst of this wonderful, wonderful feeling of elation at the um, amount of success that we have had thus far, and the fact that we raised a very important issue that was flying under the radar for so long, um, we recognize that we still have so far to go. Merely removing this item from the GSA catalog, although it is a step in the right direction, does not address the systemic realities associated with the rubber figure, nor does it absolve the GSA of its responsibility in the realm of fiduciary ethics. If the GSA knows that the item is problematic enough from, from a racial perspective, that it needs to be removed from their catalog, then the question is why should they continue to support companies that make and distribute such problematic products to the general populace? It's important that even though uh, the product, we recognize that the product is not illegal, we know that it's absolutely immoral and our money should not be going to folks who could very well make more racially problematic products and because they already have a contract with the GSA distribute them globally if that happens we're right back where we started supporting companies that make racially problematic products and claiming that your organization is dedicated to advancing racial equity are two things that cannot peacefully coexist again we are elated so excited about this first step in the right direction that said, we remain diligent, knowing that the GSA needs our support to help them make a change that is systemically impactful. To make a change like this um, in terms of just removing the item from the catalog relegates or threatens to relegate the action to the realm of something performative. So if Nothing systemic is done to ensure that racially problematic products no longer remain in the GSA catalog and that in future their processes do not allow um, these types of racially problematic items to be adopted into the GSA catalog, then it may come across as though the GSA is just doing this for the optics. And I like to believe that that's not the case. And like I said, I'm determined to and dedicated to uh, remaining diligent and continuing to help the GSA to um, make long term changes. That said, the petition is still up and the demands that are outlined in the petition that have yet to be met are as follows. Um, it's my ask that the GSA permanently remove the bl rubber black man from their catalog, permanently remove it from their catalog. I also um, ask that they um, and all purchasing bodies immediately stop all approval for the purchase mm -hmm. of the rubber dummy and um, stop reimbursing the departments that purchase them. So they should not be available for further purchase. Uh, additionally, um, the GSA and all federal purchasing bodies cancel any contract for the purchase of these rubber black men to all and not transfer any more of them to the police or military agencies. Um, also, it is um, important that the federal purchasing policy be updated to prohibit the purchase of 
any racially problematic products by any government agency. And lastly, the GSA, it's important that the GSA policies be permanently changed to prohibit the purchase of any goods or services from companies engaged in the sale of racially problematic products. So you can't be a person who sells uh, racially uh, racialized and racially problematic stickers and racially problematic um, shooting targets in on the one hand and sell something else to the GSA and still receive tax dollars. That's still a problematic relationship that needs to not exist with the GSA. Um, so in the midst of this great celebration, we stay diligent and we um, also thank our partners at the GSA for their first step and their first move. And we want to assure them that we'll still be here to help them to continue on the right path. I thank you all again for your support and um, keep your eyes open because we have some more um, things coming up that will help folks further uh, clarify their understanding of the urgency of this issue. Bye for now and we once again thank you. All right now.